I cannot genuinely tell you enough how f***ing excited I am about these. This is my first pair of these ever. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. This is the Nike Air Total Max Up Tempo. I know it's a long name, but I'm not playing, man. I've been wanting these since I was in high school. I've never been able to get a pair, but I mean, this is the time, man. Better late than never, you know what I'm saying? I'm just so happy that these are back. It's not even my favorite colorway of the shoe, but like the Penny 3, copping them all. Before we get into these though, some people are probably gonna just automatically like be like, yo, where'd you get the shirt? That's dope. So if you were interested, link's gonna be in the description box below. It's Since 83 Apparel, fellow Bay Area native, so shout out to the Bay. And if you were interested in anything, we do have a promo code, so I'll leave that in the description as well. So if you wanted to save a little bit while also supporting a small business from the Bay Area, then there you go. So for those of you guys that don't know, this is the Air Total Max Up Tempo from Nike. These are an original colorway. There were three originally. There was these guys right here. I believe this one released in 1997 but the line ran through 1998. There was my favorite colorway, which is the one that Reggie Miller used to wear. They were white and navy. And then there was another one that Tim Duncan was supposed to wear. They were black and silver. <laughs> Holy sh What the f was I saying? Oh, Tim Duncan. I believe the black and silver pair was for Tim Duncan. I do not remember him wearing them. I could be wrong. It could just be my memory. I remember him specifically wearing the foam posit. The one that was like this, the total foam posit max. Those were crazy, the silver joints. But as for these guys right here, this shoe is just, when I think of the up-tempos, there's a couple of models that I think about. One is the ones with the bug eyes. They were the up-tempo 97s. Another one is the Air More. The one that literally says Air on it. But these might be my favorite. I don't know what it is about this shoe. I've always loved it. It looks like a giant marshmallow with air on the bottom and I'm here for it, man. I I've been here for it. I just was poor. I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it before. So first things first, look at that traction, man. This is the uptempo that changed the traction because the traction on the uptempo has always had that circular radial. I've talked about this recently on the Penny 3 videos. This is one of the first ones besides the Air Moors. The Air More had the herringbone as well, but this is one of the first ones in the later models that featured herringbone. And I just always just love this. Like this is so big and wide and simple. That's what she said. Is it? Big and wide and simple. I love it. <laughs> now on top of all of that traction, we have a full length air unit, max air to be exact, even though it's not like the originals. The originals were massive. The originals also, for those of you guys that don't know, they used to stick out of the heel of the shoe, like the pippins, the tempos and all that stuff, these as, as well. And on top of that, they used to have a seam in between uh, where they would layer the uh, the two portions. So right in the middle of the air, there would have been a what looked like a, a seam or whatever, a plastic, and that's where they would heat weld the two panels together. Someone asked recently, I don't remember where it was, I don't remember if it was on Instagram or on YouTube or whatever, but they were asking why doesn't Nike make the Air Max units the way that they used to? And to my knowledge, I don't know this for 100% fact, but to my knowledge, I believe the original Air Max units had toxic air inside of them. And so for whatever reason, they were not allowed any longer to make those. I don't know why the manufacturing style changed. I don't know why there's no longer a seam. I'm assuming for durability reasons, but I really I really don't know. So if somebody actually has actual information, leave it down below in the comment section. I'd love to learn actual new facts, you know what I mean? Now above that Air Max unit is a Phylon midsole. The entire thing as far as comfort is concerned, not very comfortable. They're definitely not like the old units. I wish that they felt like that. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. In this time, it just doesn't, but they look great. So I just, you know, these, man. These are awesome. And also, just like the Penny 3s, we've got that little reflective. It's not reflective, but the mirror thing. You guys could probably see me in it in the B-roll. As far as the materials are concerned, we got a mixture between actual leathers and synthetics. So the midfoot panel, where it is that ribbed leather, that's actual leather. The rest of the upper is synthetic. So we have synthetic patent leather piping along with synthetic nubuck. And on top of all of that, we have that Volt look that is very popular now. But this was one of the first shoes I remember just seeing it like this, like the Neon 95s and all of that. Like this is one of the first basketball shoes where I was like, whoa. 
It was not my favorite colorway. Again, I love the ones that Reggie actually wore. He did wear these, just not in an NBA game. It's in like a different exhibition game. But yeah, I just really like these things. Also, fun fact, you see these little uh, top eyelet things right there? Those things are little peas for the Pippin line. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why they're on here, but they are. The last time that this colorway released was in 2009. I did not get a pair of those either. I really wanted them. That was actually a really cool time because not only did they release this one, as well as the other two original colorways, but there was a House of Hoops exclusive. And those were made specifically to represent Reggie Miller. They were like white with pinstripes, Indiana colorway. It was so dope, man. Like that was such a dope, man. What a cool tribute. I love all the branding that's on here. Obviously you got that bright volt swoosh. The back tab says Nike, and then you have that new, new of Tempo logo that didn't last long, but I like that it's there. You can also see it from the bottom right there. Sometimes they would cover that window on the retros. I don't know why they would ever do that, but I love it when they leave it the way that it used to be, where you can see through the plastic in the air unit. So dope. So on sneakers, it showed that this was reflective, which, which it looks like it is. It also showed that the mesh was reflective, which does not look like it is. And it also showed that that was reflective, and I can't tell if that's just a really bright swoosh or if it's reflective because it doesn't look reflective. So I don't know if it's that, maybe it glows in the dark. I'm not sure, but that's what sneakers showed. As far as sizing is concerned, I went true to size. That's what I would recommend. On top of that, the retail price 170, so not that bad in my opinion. Just a little more expensive than the Penny 3. And you'll be able to grab these starting December 10th over at Nike retailers, including Phenom Global. So if you're in the Sacramento area and you wanted to relive what was awesome back in 97, 98, the 90s, then go head over there and check out a pair. They do do phone orders as well. They also have their site back up. So uh, we'll leave all of that stuff down below in the description box for anybody interested. So just in case anyone's confused by the B-roll, uh, it was a mixture between on-court stuff and in here in the studio. I just did the on-court stuff because that's what I, like this is an original basketball shoe. Plus but we were out on location, we, so it was fun. We were, yeah, but I would not play in these. They are bricks. I would play in them if I had to, but it's not a shoe that I'd be like, ooh. Maybe if they were the originals and they had that original air, I think that they would be better. These are the most you shoes I've seen in a while. What's that? I, mean. I don't know. Everything about this shoe screams Chris. So big, bubbly, bright with a, that hint of neon green. I just love these, man. These are so cool. I've always loved this shoe. This shoe has been on that imaginary list that I have in my brain that I'm constantly like go to eBay or go to goat or whatever and like try to see if I can find a nice used pair for a decent price. I've never because people try to tax on these, man. This is one of those shoes that you either obliterated because you love it that much or or you just held on to it and now you're trying to let it go and because you're one of the only few with them you think that you can charge $300 I'm like you can keep those especially when everything comes back around so why pay $300 when I could just wait a little bit longer and clearly they have retroed this year though 2020 one of the worst years of all time at least for our generation however from a shoe perspective it was not that bad the 89s came back they were trash but they came back these came back the air trainers came back we'll talk about those soon the five Red Force came back, even though those were trash too, but they came back. The Penny 3 is back. I'm just having a good old time towards the end of this year, man. I'm just really stoked that there's something to look forward to. Jordan Brand is about to celebrate their Jubilee. I got a shock drop. Yeah. 2020 is not awful towards the tail end. I know that it seems bad if you watch the news and all of that, but if you try to spin it in a good way, not all things are bad, you know? Speaking of. Oh, yeah. It's, it's day four. It's Christmas time, so we've got our day four of 12 days of Christmas. Yes. Uh, for our Discord community. We're gonna be giving away these. These are the uh, the New Balance Kawhi in this particular colorway, right? Yeah, the Jolly Rancher. Yeah, you got the Kawhi. I can't unsee it now. I don't know how I missed it. I don't know. This is like <laughs> that face that I give you all the time. All the time. So these are, uh, this is my pair. I didn't get a chance to do a video on these, but we do have a review on the channel via Jalik. I will be playing in these eventually. It's just that there's other stuff and that's the one thing that does suck about this year is that can't get into a gym consistently. So it's, do I only test outdoors or you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And even then, sometimes people are there, sometimes they're not. So it's one of those things. So DS Parag, yes. you're going to get our extra pair that was sent out. Thank you to New Balance for providing those so that we can provide that and pay it forward. I hope that you like them. He's actually the reason why you have a pair of Shaq Gnosis. Yeah, so if that name sounds familiar, he is what made our Halloween get up a possibility. Yep. So you can thank him for that really cool picture. Yeah. Well, actually, that's that, that was me. But like, if it wasn't for him helping me get those shoes, then that picture wouldn't have happened. And if it wasn't for me getting all the way up there, slam dunking. You were Shaq. I was. So you had to be up there and be the dunk man, and it was cool. Yeah. 
we really worked out well. I love that picture. And yes, it's getting framed for it those is. of you that keep like saying, you got to frame, that's a poster, bro. <laughs> like it's not a picture, it's a poster. It's awesome. But that pretty much takes care of for these guys. Uh, let me know what you think about them down below in the comment section. Some of you might be seeing these for the first time and being like, man, what the f like another ugly ass 90 shoe. And some of you are probably from my era and being like, what the f they're back. So let me know which side you fall on down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. And until next time guys, have a good one.